This video represents an endoscopic transcortical treatment of a third ventricle choroid plexus cyst. It was a 25-year-old lady who presented with a progressive intermittent headaches for four weeks. She came to the emergency department and a uh, mild hydrocephalus was detected in her CT, followed by an MRI that showed that the hydrocephalus was mainly caused by a third ventricle enlargement. In the sagittal, a cyst formation was noticed in the third ventricle, particularly closing the entry area of the aqueduct. The patient was brought to the operating room and positioned supine with the head in a mayfield. A bur hole was performed on the right frontal area and the endoscope was advanced inside the right lateral ventricle. As you can see, the uh, ventricle was observed and the fornix, choroid plexus, septal vein, and the thalamus triad vein was observed. The endoscope was advanced inside the right uh, lateral ventricle through the foramen Monroe in the direction of the third ventricle. We then advanced inside the third ventricle with the endoscope and then we proceeded with the uh, third ventricle ostomy as we planned. A bipolar was utilized to coagulate the floor of the third ventricle in front of the mammillary bodies and behind the turbocinarium. An alligator forceps was used to enlarge the size of the opening and flow was obtained in between the interpeduncular fossa and the third ventricle. Using a 30 degree endoscope pointing posteriorly, we then were able to identify the choroid cyst that was located inside the third ventricle, closing the entry area for the aqueduct. The uh, cyst was definitely coming from the choroid plexus and our decision was then to use a bipolar to coagulate and shrink the cyst. As the cyst shrunk, it allowed the CSF to drain naturally through the aqueduct. At this point, we had a full decompression of the third ventricle with the third ventriculostomy and the cyst reduction with the opening of the aqueduct. The aqueduct patency was confirmed with the utilization of a 30-degree endoscope. The patient's symptoms completely resolved after surgery, and it was confirmed with a head CT that showed the decrease in the size of the ventricles, particularly with the decrease of the size of the third ventricle.